Greetings, Pod fans. It's day 26 of Pod Vajita. And today, I want to talk about my obsession with numbers and uh, the, the fact that that is, like, d- d- very detrimental to my creativity. So, wh- what do I mean by my obsession with numbers? Well, I really, really like looking at analytics and things when it comes to, like, videos and, like, media that, that I've created. Um, likes on Instagram, views on YouTube, TikTok, that kind of a thing. Uh, likes on those things as well, and just seeing them go up, seeing uh, things change, seeing numbers, and it's <laughs> it it's weird because it just completely takes away from uh, everything else. To give an example, um, two weeks ago, I think it was today, two weeks ago, I uploaded a TikTok where I I think I put it up as a short as well, but I. I was reading a thing, it was pretty good, uh, people thought it was funny, uh, so it got a lot of views. On TikTok it has like 12,000 views. Um, well, hum- humble brag, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but in that time, the majority of times that I've actually gone on to TikTok and done anything on TikTok is to look at notifications, look at what the view count is at, uh, open, it, open up the video to see the number of likes, rather than actually using the uh, site for anything else. Like, since then, I've made a TikTok, but that was um, a condensed version of one of the the Pod Fajita videos. Um, I haven't really been watching things on it. I haven't been using TikTok as it's intended, like, to consume media. I'm just going on so that I can look at numbers and see how well something is doing. And, you know, to look at notifications being like, Oh, another six people liked this! And it's it's terrible. It's really bad. Like, even, like, my YouTube channel. I, at the moment anyway, definitely at the moment, um, the rest of the year it's not as bad. But I have a tab open um, for uh, the YouTube analytics, the YouTube dashboard, YouTube studio, creator studio is what it's called. And I check that fairly regularly. And as well, uh, I don't know how many other people, even like content creators, have this. I have the YouTube Studio app on my phone, which is, it's just an app designed so that you can look at analytics and you can look at um, things that you've uploaded and, like, do that. And it's, (laughs) like, I could very easily be spending time getting videos ready. I could be spending time doing things. And it is very good to keep an eye on these things and see what does well and what does, uh, what, what, what works, what doesn't work, what is good. But when I'm just looking at the, let me bring it up, the real-time views thing. So this is like per hour over the past 48 hours where there were views. And it's not good to be looking at that all of the time. It's not good for my brain, not at all. And I know that. It's the same way that like, I had to delete the Facebook app because I, I don't like going on Facebook. It's, you know, I don't really have fun with it, but I found myself just opening it and scrolling. And I do the same with Twitter and Instagram at the moment, but like, I kind of enjoy those more. There's more content there, I find it better. Um, but really I should just get rid of those. Um, it's odd. I need to figure out a better way of doing things where I'm not just obsessing over these numbers. If I had some way of just making things and pushing them out to the ether and not knowing how well they do, I wonder would I still be doing this? It's just an interesting thought experiment and something that I've been noticing. Um, And I've been doing this for years, like years and years. Uh, (laughs) Because um, my first TikTok that got a number of views I'm I'm very rude looking at my phone, um, but yeah, it currently has sixty four thousand views, which was uh, talking about my uh, my duck tattoo, and that was over a year ago or a year I don't know when it was. <laughs> it was last year, and I was going on about like, oh, now it has this many views, now it has this, and like you know, I bring it up every now and then. I hope I wasn't being annoying with it. But one of my friends asked, um. Was it not like are you not used to this? Is this like I didn't think you'd be the kind of person to care and like look at these things and like Keep an eye on it because you know, I've been doing this for so long, but I don't know. It's it just feels natural 
au natural to be looking at these. Um, yeah, is it, I don't know, um, does, how do people feel about that kind of a thing? Um, if you upload any kind of media to the internet, like even if you've only uploaded like one YouTube video ever or like uploading TikToks um, every now and then, do you, do you keep an eye on the views? Do you like, um, are you like hoping for, for notifications? Are you opening up the app to check if there's new notifications and if there's new likes and things? It's like, it's not good. It's really not at the end of the day. Um, it is uh, fairly detrimental to just my mental health around making videos and things, but it just feels like, oh, I have to check. Oh, I have to make sure. Oh, I need to, to pull this up because that's, that's what feels right today. It's odd, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just felt like talking about that. It's something that's on my brain at the moment. Uh, yeah, which, you know, I'm, I'm a sleepy man. I am uh, tired and yeah, like this month has been um, weird and it always is. Like it can be the most creative time in my life, but it can also be like, oh, no one's seeing this. <laughs> Ugh, I'm just, I'm just blurting out, blurting out things. Um, but yeah, like I've mentioned it uh, previously in the month, and I've mentioned it a million times in the past, uh, but yeah, I'm going to take a look at my content once this month is over and see about doing something better, doing something that I enjoy, which, um, like, my favourite video from this month was actually the, uh, the Elden Ring one. Because I put work into that, and I thought it was funny, and uh, I am able to watch that video, um, which is a weird thing. Um, it's something that crosses my mind quite often, and uh, like gets me down. Now we're getting real, real. Um, but yeah, I often think, if I wasn't me, would I watch the content that I create? And it's a good question. Like. Would I? I don't know. Would I? Would I watch this random man talking about whatever pops into his head? Um, so yeah, I don't really know. I don't know if I would. Um, but yeah, I need to take a look at what I do and figure out what I want to do and make things that make me happy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just a. That's just the talking. That's just me. Um, but yeah, I. I hope this was a, another great insight into my mind, which is what everyone is, they, the people, if you're out in the streets, they're screaming more, more things about Pod's head. Um, but yeah, I, I hope this was something. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. It is the 26th. We've got the 27th, 8th, 9th, and 30th. Four days. That's all. We've damn. <laughs> We're almost there. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll try and make regularish things for the next couple of days, and maybe on Saturday we'll have another heart to heart and talk about what I want to do going forward. But yeah, hmm, interesting. But I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you for listening to my venting, and yeah, I'll talk to you when I talk to you, or else I won't. Slon. <laughs>